If you love me, I gotta work for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the name of love. What's up, what's up, my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back on to another video. I just wanna say thank you so very much to all of you that are actively involved in my channel and my videos, and I could not appreciate you guys anymore. And I am gaining subscribers by the day, and I'm super excited about that because I'm trying to get to 4,000 and I'm not that far off. So thank you and welcome all who are new. And I just want to say for the new ones, I am dealing with allergies. As you can probably see, just go back to some of my other videos and you will see that I look probably the same or worse. However, I will say I did get me some waterproof mascara. So that's helping a lot. Um, I just don't put on any eyeliner. And that way I can have some makeup on with Okay, we're gonna move on past that because I always talk about that. But to the new ones that are kind of wondering why I look like I'm crying. I'm not crying. Okay, so moving on to my video today. I just first want to show you guys my bag of the video and the one that I have been carrying. And it is my Oprah bag. I don't know if it was the last video I made, but it was definitely the last unboxing I did. And I'm really, really, really loving this bag. It's a great everyday bag. If you have not seen my video over that, I will link it in the description box below because I do a whole what fits inside of it and what it looks like on and all of that. And to me, as an everyday bag, the Oprah bag, and this is in the size PM that is, falls under that category and I have been using it since I showed it on my video, which was, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. So, okay, well, today I am showing you guys a different one. Whenever I have new bags that I want to get, I try to clear out space for them by selling some that I don't use anymore or have never used at all. And I do have some of those and I will show those at the end of the video if you guys are interested in them. And they are my contemporary bags and I'm probably about to sell a few of my luxury bags. Actually, the contemporary bags I'm going to show you guys today is on a community post. And you can go to my channel and just go to community and it will and scroll down to you see where they're listed. And I'm about to put up some luxury bags because I gotta make room for some of these newbies coming in. And to me, there's just no sense in holding on to bags that I don't use and as time passes by and I'm still not using them, goodbye, goodbye. And I'm also, another thing I'm trying to do is build up my YSL collection because I'm really into YSL these days. So, so let's get on with my video for today, which is the unboxing. And yes, I have already looked at this bag. Okay, so here it is in its little beautiful dust bag. And I'm gonna give you guys a hint, real quick like. You guys will probably remember when I bought the Ivy bag and I fell in total love with this bag. I was never a small bag person until I started carrying one and was able to see how lightweight it was carrying it around a crossbody versus something that's heavy when you're doing a lot of walking and such. So my little Ivy bag. What started my whole small love bag affair was my East West Pochette Matisse, and then I moved on to the Ivy bag, so, which I do still have the East West bag, and love it just as much. It's just a little bit different, but yeah, okay, here we go. I'm so excited about this one. So, it is the Ivy bag again, which is also called the Wallet on Chain, AKA walk bag, um, it's wallet on chain is listed on the website as the name of this bag, but Ivy is also listed as a name and people just shorten down wallet on chain and say walk if you did not know that. Most of you probably know that, but for the ones that don't, whenever I say my walk bag, it, that's what I'm talking about, a wallet on chain. So here it is in the color cream and oh, I loved the monogram so much that when I found out months and months ago that they were going to release this bag in the black on prawns 
and cream on point leather i knew i definitely would be getting another one because on point leather is just my favorite next to canvas bags and funny thing is, is i don't even know if they have the black on point out right now but I, it, it's coming out. I, however, I did kind of feel like they went ahead and just released the cream due to it might be because of the time of the year, but the black is coming too. But I'd already made up my mind and knew I wanted the cream bag because I have so many black bags. That's why I have gotten rid of a few of my black bags just because you, it, I just was overloaded with them. So let's do a 360 with her real quick. So here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, and uh, the bottom. As you can see, it's got the oversized monogram print embossed in the bag, and I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but I didn't have a cream bag and a small size bag that I think will be very nice with certain outfits through the spring and summer and winter. I mean, because I think white and cream goes well with winter, winter white, like it's beautiful. So I will not only wear this through this time of the year, but I will also wear it in the winter, but which I have mentioned to you guys on multiple occasions that I am not a person that really just sticks with what season it is. and according to what bag I choose. But as I've grown my collection, I have started leaning more towards certain ones that I will carry at different times of the year where I used to not because I only had a few, so I would carry them all year long. So anyways, so let's open it up and I'll show you guys the inside of the bag. So it has the tan microfiber lining but as you can see on the inside it does have a card slot so you can put your uh, cards and your license which is why it's called the wallet on chain bag because it has a wallet made into the bag for you or well, we'll just call it a card holder basically but a place to put your cards and cash back here and coins if you carry cash and coins around, which I don't, but I do carry cards and a license and it gives you that option to have it in the back. It also gives you the option of carrying cash or something in this front zipper pocket. So that's a good thing there. To, it has that and then the rest is just one solid opening. So I love, I love that it has the microfiber interior. This one has textile lining inside of it, but I do not care because I still love the bag. Obviously, I prefer microfiber lining, but I won't not buy a bag over not having microfiber lining. I am gonna put these two bags side by side so you guys can see. I'm put them right here. They're obviously the same size, so cute, 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 cute. Like they're just my little twins and I love them. It comes with a beautiful gold chain and this is just for me, for me, it is an accessory for the bag to make it look nice. A lot of people might want to carry it on their shoulder or in the crook of their arm, but that will not be me. It will be simply for the looks of the bag, but you can. If you want to throw it on, my sweatshirt's a little thick, but you can get it on there. I can't with this sweatshirt. A lot of people might want to carry it in the crook of their arm like this. And it makes it super cute too because the gold up against this cream is absolutely beautiful. I am happy that they did do gold hardware on this bag. And it also does come with a detachable and adjustable strap. However, it is one of those that it's not my favorite kind of strap that adjusts because it doesn't give you but one option on adjusting it to its longest length, that is. I like for the strap to be, to work for different heights because we're not all the same height or size. And when it only adjusts to one length and it doesn't work for you, then what is the point of having an, an adjustable strap? Because if you are wanting to wear this bag crossbody, that is. And this to me is a crossbody bag. So that's the only thing that I have an issue with on this bag is the fact that I'm going to have to use extenders to wear this bag across body. Now on this bag, I had an alternative fix because I have several monogram straps 
that are adjustable at different lengths. So I just stick one of those on with this bag and I was good to go. But considering this is cream, that makes it a little bit harder to do. What I could do is get a long gold chain and wear it crossbody like that. Or my friend Amy from Amy Michelle Luxury, if y'all have not seen her channel, go over and watch hers. She is wanting me to see what it looks like with a monogram strap on it. So after I show you guys what this bag looks like on with this strap and some extenders, I will show you guys what it looks like with a monogram strap. But I'm going to first show you guys what fits in this bag or should I say what I carry in this bag and maybe we can get a little extra in there, okay? So we're gonna first start off with the main necessities that I have to have. Sorry, you guys, I have not been on lately, but we have been really, really busy and I have been fighting these allergies. Oh man, so, so bad. That just, I'm just kind of miserable, to be honest. Okay, the most important would be a wallet, which I'm not gonna use, and my keys because I gotta have money if I'm going somewhere and I gotta have keys if I'm going somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my keys down in the bag and we'll just pretend that I have debit cards, credit cards, whatever, in the little card holder back there because that's where they're gonna go. All right, so the next thing that I would probably put in here would be a hand sanitizer. As long as you arrange your things well in here, you can get a pretty good bit, honestly, you really can. So, okay, we got the sanitizer. So my Chanel lotion, I like to carry a lotion around because after I wash my hands, I, they're always dry. And we wash our hands, <laughs> even carrying sanitizer around, right? Okay, so the next thing would be, let's see, I'm gonna try my AirPods and in a little pill case. And then my chapstick because I don't go anywhere without the chapstick. So I could stand it up over in the corner or I could just lay it across in the bag, which is what I'm going to do. The only other thing that I would like to try to get in there is my new Valentino travel perfume, but God, this smells so good. If you guys have not tried it, it smells amazing. If if I can't get it to shut, I will put one of my little Louis Vuitton samples of perfume down in there because I like to have a perfume with me at all times. So these are necessities. And like I said, my debit card and credit card and license would go in this back pocket. And then the other thing is the phone. So that's what I was saving the front zipper pocket for, which I'm video on, videoing on my phone. So I'm gonna put my case in here, but I was saving this front pocket for my phone. And I have the 13 Pro Max, by the way. I think I'm gonna remove the AirPods because it's making it a little harder to get everything in. So removing the AirPods is fine. So I'll show you guys what I have in there. So as you can see, you can still get um, a couple more things if you want to, like some small lipsticks or I don't know, whatever that, what else, whatever else is really small. But having the built-in card holder helps so much. In my Ivy bag, I just stick my license and my debit card back here, and, and I just stick extra credit cards that I might need up here in the little slots that they have because it's just easier for me to just grab them out of that back pocket. So that's what I do. But I, I was able to get the AirPods in. It's just, it was, I think it was gonna be a little bit of a tighter squeeze. So I think that's plenty for the bag. So let's shut it. And it shuts easily and perfect with all of that in there. And that would include if I wanted to carry my phone. Now, if I did not want to carry my phone in the bag, I could get more things because I could put some of these things that I didn't want to put down in the bag in that little zipper pocket and then my AirPods could fit. So it's just really all about what you want and what you need and what's more important that you carry. So we're just gonna go with this right now and I'll show you guys what it looks like on, okay? So I already have it adjusted at its longest length and we'll start there. Okay, so here it is crossbody with no extenders, which is why I will not be wearing the bag without extenders if I wanna wear it crossbody. A lot of people are okay with their bags being up this high, but I am not, so I'm gonna get it off quick. Okay. So here it is as a long shoulder bag, and this is at its longest length. 
with the chain hanging down. I think it's just super, super cute like that. I'm going to put some extenders on there and show you guys that next. As I was looking for my extenders, I was going to show you guys a couple more things that I could get in my bag and I'm gonna take out my phone case and it's this mirror that Idol sent me. They let me review some of their jewelry and if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link that below as well. Anyways, and so they sent me this handheld mirror, which is super cute. So I'm going to slide that in that front pocket and then also they sent me a, a hair scrunchie and I always kind of like to have like something like that with me because I'm always pulling my hair back. So I'm gonna stick that in there and then my tweezers because I'm weird, I know, but I like to have my tweezers with me because I pluck my eyebrows a lot. So, okay, here is what it looks like with taking my phone out and adding some additional things. So it really does hold a whole lot and I can zip the zipper up. I just didn't, but I can show you guys. So there's all that stuff zipped up and there's the rest of the items in the bag. So, I'm going to add the extenders and show you guys what it's going to look like on me crossbody. And I'm just going to tell you guys, these are not extenders that I am going to use on this bag. It's just the only ones that I could find because I've ordered some from another website that are gold to match the gold hardware. And when they come in, then I will update you guys on how it looks because they're super cute extenders. I can't wait to get those in. Okay, so this is probably going to add a lot of length to the bag, so we're going to see. So picture these as cute little gold extenders, and I don't think I would need it this long. So with the new extenders coming in, they might be a little shorter, and if not, I can always just use one extender and or wear it at this length. But I probably would just use one extender if they are this length because I kind of more like my bags to sit about right there. So keeping the extenders on and adjusting it to its shortest length, here's where it hangs as a short shoulder bag. So um, that's cute like that. But yeah, just know that I do have some different extenders coming in. And now I'm going to see what it will look like with the monogram strap just for my friend Amy. Cause she thinks it will look good. So we will see. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what y'all think about it, okay? We argue a lot, so <laughs> I want to know y'all's thoughts because I'm like, no. And she's like, yeah, that's how we work. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I, if I would have bought it in the black, I think the monogram would be cute. I just don't know about it with the cream. Okay, so here's my monogram canvas strap that belongs to my pochette Matisse. Okay. So let me put it up close for you guys to see. See, I don't know. You guys tell me what y'all think. Okay, so this is the actual length that I do like to wear my bags crossbody. Perfect length right here. I never can see what it looks like in the camera until I start editing because it's just small and it's so far away. But here's what it looks like with the canvas strap on. I don't know. All I can see is just dark and light. So you guys can let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. Or it may look cute when I look in the mirror. I don't know. Amy, you better comment. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. So bottom line, I love this bag. I'm glad to have it in cream. If all else fail, fails and the extenders don't happen to work out and this strap doesn't work out because I will want to wear this bag crossbody, I will probably just use a long go chain and wear it like that. So I'm going to take everything back out to show you guys just how much it did hold, which I usually do that before I try them on, but I didn't today. So my Valentino travel spray perfume, my hand sanitizer, my key fobs, and I have two of them and a house key, chapstick, my Chanel hand lotion, and I also could get a smaller lotion, but the way this one's so slick and shaped, it really fits in all the bags pretty well. And then inside this pocket, I had the little pill case, a hair scrunchie, and tweezers, and then my little handheld mirror. Okay, so that is a whole ton of stuff. And you guys could see that I could get my phone in there. So if I wanted my phone, 
I just wouldn't be able to care some of the extras like the mirror and tweezers and that kind of stuff. So that is my Ivy bag, you guys. Beautiful as can be. Love her so much. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about it, okay? Now I'm going to show you guys the bags that I have listed on my community post uh, for sale. And then I will list the prices of those also in my description box, okay? So the first one is my Coach Studio bag and it's the squishy kind. It's my mind's like blank. Who knows? Okay, and it's got the beautiful pewter gray hardware, which almost looks black, but it's it's like a really, really dark gray. So pretty. It opens up to all leather on the inside. Let me move this back over. And it comes with two straps, not just one. And these straps are both awesome. This one looks like it would hurt like heck to wear it. To me, it looks like it's a plastic and it would hurt, but it's not. It's leather and it is very, very comfortable. So I like the chain link strap. I think it looks good with the bag, but then you also have the other choice. And as you guys can see, I've never worn the bag. I haven't even taken the, all the paper off of it, but it gives you the choice of just a solid pink leather strap that matches the bag. And I have this on my community post, but my camera doesn't take the best pictures sometimes. Well, it takes okay pictures, but it's just the lighting change. So I hope you guys can more see what this bag looks like on video, even though I know it is with my camera, but we got different lighting in here because it's more of like a bubblegum pink color and it's very roomy on the inside. It's got a pocket back there, the pocket right here, big compartment there, and it's got another pocket in the front right there. And it's all leather on the inside and outside. This is actually smooth leather down here, so it's very pretty. On the side, it has a pochette and a, a little coaching tag. I'll put those up there for you guys to see. I've never carried this bag, not once. I have several pink bags, as you can see behind me, and when I go to reach for a pink bag. I just haven't reached for this. I just tend to lead toward my other pink bags. So there's nothing wrong with this bag. It has been discontinued in this color. If you're a pink lover like I am, and you love like the blush pink look, you will love this bag. I just don't need it. Okay, so we're gonna set that over to the side. My Red Pillow Soft Tabby Bag, and it is so squishy and so soft. Also, this is a very beautiful bag. I bought this around the Christmas time, but I ended up buying me a Gucci Marimont bag that's also red with gold hardware. And I really do not carry red a whole lot. And if I carry one or the other, I'm probably gonna lean toward the one that I paid more money for. Not necessarily saying it's better than this one, but it's just to get my money's worth out of it. So, I don't see a need for this bag anymore. I think it is a, a beautiful bag. Let me show you guys what it looks like with a gold chain on it. Okay, so here it is with a gold chain. And I think that's absolutely just adorable with it like that. And to me, like this totally gives like off like holiday vibes, you know, or Valentine vibes or any time of the year. But again, I just need one red bag one red bag and I'm running out of room and things have to go. So she's gotta go, but she does come with a good top handle strap or you can wear it as a short shoulder bag or you can take it off and wear it without this and you just wear it cross body or as a long shoulder bag. And you guys already know, this would be how I would wear it as a cross body bag and I would probably leave the top handle off. I've never carried the bag, so that's why I'm saying I would probably, because it never happened. It never got done. So inside the bag opens up to really pretty leather, and believe it or not, this bag holds a ton. And it's a size 26, so it has a big compartment back there, a zipper compartment in the middle, as you can see, and then a bigger compartment right here. And this bag just gives and gives. I mean, you can get so much in these bags I kid you not. And I am selling these bags for a really good price. So if you guys are interested in the pillow tabby, 
or my studio bag. There you go. Those are the two contemporary bags I'm selling. So anyways, that is my video for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have several more coming up. I am getting ready to do a few tags, a few collabs, and I have a couple more unboxings that I have to do. So a lot of content on its way. My daughter's out of school for summer break. Super excited about that. And things are slowing down now that she is out of school. I think if you're not following me over on Instagram, please go over there and do so. And I will leave that right here for you guys to see. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. And also, if you wouldn't mind, you can also share this video so that it can reach other people. Okay, so I'm going to end this video as I always do with I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, or night. Whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good evening. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.